Okay, we're going to continue now with an important exercise, which is the uh, Terlua movement. The Terlua has four grace notes in it. Um, a low G grace note, a D grace note, a low G grace note, and an E grace note. Four grace notes in total. To play this exercise, we start off with a G grace note on low A. We play that Terlua exercise that I was just talking about to low A. Okay, so it goes something like this. A G grace note on low A, and then the Terlua to low A. So that's a G grace note on low A, down to low G, a D grace note on low G, and then an E grace note up to low A. Ta, um, pam, pa. Okay, we then move on to a G grace note on B, play the exact same movement to low A again. G grace note on B, to lower to low A. So it's a G grace note on B, down to low G, D grace note on low G, and an E grace note up to low A. To um pam. Uh, we then continue up the scale with a G grace note on C and the exact same movement to low A. G grace note on C to lower to low A. Okay, we then continue on with a G grace note up to D. We do the usual low G, but this grace note, which would normally be a D grace note, is replaced by a B grace note. Okay. And we then continue and finish it off with an E grace note to low A. So the Terlua from D to low A is a G grace note on D, then to low G, D grace note on low G, and then an E grace note on low A. And if you look closely at your music, you'll see that that second note of the group of four notes has changed from a D to a B. We then revert back to the original way that we were playing our Terlua's. So we go with a G grace note to E, and then the Terlua to low A. Okay, a G grace note up to F, so we do that by lifting three fingers up and the top one down. We continue with a back grace note to high G, so the thumb comes off as it goes back down, the top three fingers come off, all at the exact same time. And then the last one on the first line is simply a high A, and then the Terlua to low Important when we're playing these uh, embellishments that the grace notes are evenly spaced out. Okay, so ta um pam pa po um pam po and so on. I'll play that first line of the Tolua exercise. <laughs> Okay. We'll then move on to the second line, and basically it's the exact same exercise except this time it moves down the way, from high A all the way down to low A. Okay, so that was the second line of the Terlua exercise. When we're practicing these, 
uh, it's really important that we stretch out the first note, what we, we referred to earlier on as the theme note. So, long, one, two, three, long, one, two, three. Um, and make sure that you understand uh, how the movement is made up. So make sure as you're playing along with that you use the, the, the music itself. Really important that you're able to recognise not only just the shape of it, but what the actual movement consists of, the grace note sequence. A low G, a D grace note on low G, and then an E grace note. Four grace notes that make up the tourlure. So, really, really important movement, and uh, you'll use the, this lots and lots and lots of tunes. So, please, please make sure that you have excellent tourlures. Enjoy practicing these. Well done.